girl should have her own house after the wedding the boy will settle in her wife house it is a requirement for a girl to get married if you want to get married to a boy you should have a house we are here for the final part and we're going to talk with nasif here we are going to be discussing about um, the wedding culture for sri lankan muslim they are not just a uh, one culture for the muslim in sri lanka right obviously but basically how about the wedding culture like the tradition before marriage okay so we also have different cultures uh, as i said like western muslim culture and eastern muslim culture are different oh. when you go to eastern eastern muslim culture you can see indian influence like marrying uh, with their cousins and asking dowry from the woman side and all you can see this thing but when you go to western part of the country we are officially take the dowry from the woman but it is not it is not a must we give the mahar boy give the mahar and take the girl and we have two ceremonies one is we have two walimas it means we have shapa the, means food, food the guy side and the female side yeah the bride will invite their side again in on one day and the bridegroom will invite their side their family their friends on another day these are the norms but these are not fixed some are flexible and they just do one and finish it off with one nikah the same day the walima and okay done so happily lived ever after like that uh, <laughs> we mostly go with arranged marriage like it's it's very very out weird? of the norm oh, okay we have to have a relationship and uh, go for a marriage it's oh. like a, you, you know like if you like someone okay i can i can i can tell someone and we can make it an arranged marriage mm. but if you are in a relationship for long time like time sweet couples and uh-huh. these things it's kind of like a you will be like how to say isolated like alienated oh uh. you, you are you are that person you had a connection with a girl before okay. the marriage okay. and all. Mm-hmm. So, so we still have this norm I, i don't know i don't i'm not here to judge this is the situation a big event in a muslim culture the engagement first of all when we go for the discussion of my boy wants to marry with your girl so the parents have the discussion first and then they will share their photos with each other the boy will see the girl in the photo and the girl will see the boy in the photo then after that if they are okay then we will take the next step uh, the boy will go to see the girl at her house and we will have a small tea party and there will be an event where the girl and the boy will have a time to talk with their adults of course with them after that if they are okay they will have kind of until the nikah they will have a small relationship it means it means they will get to know each other uh, like a khitba we say if not they uh, before the nikah some people will do a small engagement It's like okay we are fixed so they will invite the close family and have a small engagement after that they will do the nikah and the walima and all usually after the walima the girl will come to the boy's house and after that the boy will go to the girl's house and the cycle starts here and there. it depends like mainly in western part of sri lanka you no need to have your separate house or still you can survive in your own house your parents house in southern uh, sorry in 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 eastern part of sri lanka girl should have her own house after the wedding the boy will settle in her wife house it is a requirement for a girl to get married if you want to get married to a boy you should have a house it becomes a burden for the brother of the, the bride to build a house for her sister and he has to work hard and his marriage will get delayed and all and all and when he gets married he also will ask the same requirement from a girl the chain continues i do not say good or bad however we cannot expect everyone hard for sometimes but always a government servant has a high demand in the market <laughs> mm. because he has the job security retirement and government servant means like he has respect he always has a high demand at the same time doctor engineer this high professor high All profession the speaker yep <laughs> yeah, yeah. the other professions if you have good income okay you can survive in the market uh, you can survive the competition this is the how to say this is the culture in sri lanka talking about marriage so that's a really nice uh, moment at that time like everyone gathers comes and the day before the walima walima uh. ceremony so tonight all the girls will gather around the uh, right and uh, she will have the marathon do you know henna it's a big moment for the females and uh, on that night we will kurban we will slaughter the cow for the so if tomorrow is the wedding so t- tonight we will kurban the cow i mean evening kurban the cow and we will prepare the uh, flesh daging for the wedding wedding food walima and the uh, parut invite the f- uh, villagers and family and friends and we will cook the parut so we say parut walima it's like a 
it's like a it's 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 a special event. That is the uh, uh, special dish for wedding. Mm-mm. Before oh. the wedding, the night Before of the, the wedding. wedding. Okay, okay. Uh, so something like that. That also happy moment uh, to uh, so people will uh, come to eat that special parut intestine uh, stomach part, right? So we will uh, have uh, a soup, the parut and a dal or a potato. potato curry with the milk and all and after that the next day the wedding ceremony will go on sometimes people take the ceremony in in a reception hall or sometimes they people take the ceremony in their houses mm. yes as per their convenience but, but uh, uh, for for the uh, legislation part do you have to register or the nikah is sufficient no legislation is a must if we do not register our marriage mm. in case of a divorce or mm, any yeah. any we don't have a proof to mm. show so and also for our children to get registered in the school or in any academic institution it is a must to show the marriage certificate yes so uh, we have qazi court we have a muslim civil law court oh, okay. uh, for, for each administrative district we have one person in charge of these things mainly nikah and talaq hmm. so you have like your your sharia court right yeah uh, we yeah. have our sharia court in the accusation allegations it is also one one point why do we need to have uh, a different legal system for muslims oh. one country one law <laughs> okay okay yeah um how about the attire what do the bride wear what does the groom wear usually when you see they uh, the boy wear a suit a coat blazer and uh, uh, black blazer suit and all oh. but sometimes he also try to wear some like a like like a kurta pakistani mm. style kurta indian style kurta we we follow the western western style and the girl mm. wear the frock white frock with the hijab and long arms the, white, the, the white white frock white frock right the the big one i mean uh, the white abaya? dress not abaya oh dress like, oh like like in you don't western wear sari, the female there they don't wear sari Mm, no 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 we oh, don't wear sari are... because uh, because we consider only the old women wear saris the, the youths uh, girls don't wear sari until recent past maybe very long time ago we used to wear saris then i think after we got some influence from middle east mm. when people started to go there for work purposes and and education Ay, purposes yeah. at jenera mm. so they bring back culture india uh, the arab culture to here yeah. so plus abaya is very easy it's like just one piece and that's it <laughs> yeah 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 so it became like and also it became uh, like part of islamic law thing um. so so as we discussed earlier now uh, people like moderate people moderate means like uh, those who understand the concept of islam mm. little bit no, not too not like to rigid, not too loose yeah, yeah so they try to wear in in sri lanka the the predominantly you can see black like abayas so mm. black means sometimes non muslims they think why why black why why only black why do, why not other colors Yeah, we don't have answers for that, right? Many Muslims it's, try it's to. It's the Arab that. culture, yeah. Hmm. I mean, Now we we Southern so. Asian people, we are people of colors, not just like just any part Man of color. Southern Asian. We are people of colors. When you don't wear yeah. color, you look weird. But in yeah. Arab, when you wear color, you look weird. So yeah, that's why. <laughs> exactly, exactly. My ummi and my cousins and my sisters and my relatives, they start to wear ala abaya, mm-hmm. like pink color, like like not dark pink. We have lots like, of that in Malaysia, yeah. It's beautiful. full to and pleasant right yeah. wearing only black it's okay but i think maybe black means it will cover our aura and all so still other colors also can cover our aura so we have to be little bit flexible and try to understand the context we are living in we have yeah. to think like makkan mindset not like madinan mindset right yeah. so makka mm. we were minority so we had to follow that figure inshallah oh that's beautiful So I think that is all. So thank you everyone for watching all the um five segments of this Sri Lankan Muslim episode. Thank you Nasif, do you have anything else to say? Thank you Kafarwina for inviting me and uh, having the opportunity to share all these things. I hope it was useful. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikumussalam. Bye.